Shalom, Yasharal. I want to get infinite honors to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Karkadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, who are rather than double honors. And salutation to my fellow laborers in Yahweh Shai, pushing his truth across the four winds in these last days, seconds, and times. All right, this clip is going to be short. This is more of a reproving uh, for young brothers on the comment board. All right, it's for a specific guy that made a statement on the comment board. All right. Um, you young brothers that's coming in, younger brothers, because we we are all students. I'm a younger brother, but I, you know, I've been in a um a X amount of years, so over time we you gain understanding and knowledge. All right, but younger brothers coming in, you got two ears and one mouth, mouth vacuum, and you got to learn how to do things decently in order. And we all had to do it. When you come on the comment board and you hear something you don't understand, all right, you don't be rash with your mouth and just make statements, all right? You get on the comment board, you ask questions. You see brothers do it all the time on Elder Apostle Tahar's um, page, Elder Apostle uh, Gabar's page. They get on there, they'll be like, well, El they'll ask, tell the elders, I don't understand this, Will you do a sit down on it to edify us, all right? That's what that's the way you do things when you hear something that a elder a older brother or an elder brother says and it goes over your head and you don't have understanding. You don't come make broad statements. All right? And this is a reproving, it's not a rebuking, it's a reproving for this brother and guys like him. All right? You because this brother, I think he's sincere. I've seen the brother um at least the last year on the comment boards consistently uh, on there. He's not, he don't never scope. He posts precepts, you know, and he never gets out of pocket, but he was out of pocket on the comment board yesterday. And I'm going to show why. All right. Because he heard me say something that he didn't understand. And he made a, a, a he was rash with his mouth, but he didn't understand what was said. And I'm, I'm about to enlighten your brother and, and, the next time you're put in that predicament or you see something like that that you don't fully understand, you just ask a question, all right? And for guys like him. So I'm about to press this clip and let you see what, what transpired. If thou come to serve Yahweh, we've come to serve Yahweh by Shema All right, now I'm breaking down Sirach, the second chapter, and I'm going to say something about breasts, okay? And he just misunderstood what I said completely. All right? That's why we here. That's the whole duty of man to keep the commandments, to serve your Creator, to do what's well pleasing in His sight. My son, if thou come to serve your high by Shema Shai, prepare thy soul for temptation. So we know the wiles of the devil's coming. All right, when wisdom grow in your breath, you prepare yourself for this for Satan's next new next wave to come for you. All right, you all now right there. I say, when well, wisdom grow in your breast, it sounds like I said, when well, wisdom grow in your breath, but I say, when well, wisdom grow in your breast. All right. Now, when I say that, watch what the brother's response is. Well, come one demon, just know another one coming. So you prepare yourself. That's how you offend less because you always it, uh, is defensive in nature in the land of the valley, of the shadow of death. All right. It's number pitfalls to fall. So you always have your weapons of war on you. All right. And set thy heart aright. And what do you? How do you set your heart aright? All right. All right. Now, right there, that that brother D. Duncan. Now, I've seen this guy on on Common Boys a lot, and he he never comes in the spirit of a scoper. He's not scoping right now. He's just being rash with his mouth, and he don't understand what he heard. He said this scripture is not talking about no female. I didn't say the scripture was talking about no female. You just heard me say the word breast. All right. And I got that from the scriptures. All right. That's why that's why it's imperative. You young brothers come in, you hold fast and you get in line and you, you be orderly. That's why the, the elder uh, to heart put out that commandment. Look, stop letting new minimums and great millstone because a lot of weirdos are coming in. All right. And I'm not calling this brother a weirdo, but this is a prime example. Things like these, this was happening. And these and guys was creeping in the camps doing just off shit. All right. Now I'm enlightening them, brother. All right. This scripture is when I said wisdom growing in our breasts, 
All right, that's an old English term, the way people used to talk in the ancient times, okay? That doesn't mean a man has uh, has uh, breasts like a woman, okay? In the ancient world, when a, a man will be speaking of himself, when he'll be saying his bosom or his breasts, okay? That's why when you come into this marvelous light, you have to become a historian, all right? These Bibles are written in old English, all right? They're not written, they have modern, they've made modern uh, versions, versions of the Bible, but we use the KJV, which is basically old English, okay? Now, I'm going to take you to the precept first to show you why I said that. This is uh, the book of Ezra, 2nd Ezra uh, 14, verse 40. Might start at 39. I'm going to start at 39 for edification's sake, all right? I'm going to start at 38. 2nd Ezra 14 and 38. And the next day, behold, a voice called me saying, Ezra, open thy mouth and drink that I give thee to drink. Then open out my mouth, and behold, he reached me a full cup, which was full, as it were, with water. But the color of it was like fire. And I took it and drank it. And when I drank of it, all right, the most I poured his spirit in Ezra. All right, he pours his spirit on us the same way. And my heart uttered understanding, and wisdom grew in my breast. Now, is Ezra talking about he got titties like a woman? No. All right, that's our old English term. When he say wisdom growing in my breast, and I'm gonna break it down for you. For my spirit strengthened my memory. Now Ezra is not talking about he got watermelons and cantaloupes like a woman. All right, and I'm, that's a metaphor. All right, he's not talking about he got breasts like a woman. All right, he said understanding came in his spirit. All right, wisdom came in his his spirit. In his, in his vessel, all right? And my mouth was open and shut no more, all right? I'm going to give you some other examples, all right? This is, um, in fact, let me start at Proverbs. This is one, Proverbs 1 and 5, and it reads, A wise man will hear and will increase in learning, all right? A lot of times the Most High put things for us wise men, or well, he makes us wise men, and he he's he's speaking cold. And ain't in, in the old school they call it hip talk. All right. Us younger generation, we call it game. Spitting five bars, metaphors. All right. That's how the most high teach us a lot, so it could go over the simpleton's head. Okay. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. All right. He say he will hear. Wise men have to listen more than they speak. All right, it's wise to listen and understand before you be rash with your mouth. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. The brothers that are out here teaching the wise men. Now, when you deal with a wise man and he say something you don't understand, you ask a question. You don't say, man, that ain't talking about no woman. Man, you don't think I know that ain't talking about a woman, brother? Like, are you serious? All right, to understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. All right, the Most High talked to us like this. See, we got to understand these Proverbs. These Proverbs don't be literal. All right? When you read Proverbs, the seventh chapter, all right, that's not talking about a literal woman when you read that. All right? Some scriptures be two and threefold. Okay? To understand a proverb and an interpret interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. All right. So a lot of times things be dark sayings, even though this topic we're going in right now, not even a dark saying. That's just how people used to talk in the ancient world. That's not even a dark saying. That's you just having to educate educate yourself about uh modern day English diction and English diction in the ancient world, okay? So 
A lot of times when you hear brothers say things and you don't understand these dark sayings, or a brother might say something to go over your head, you're supposed to ask questions, okay? You're supposed to ask questions. Um, this Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 2. Be not rash with your mouth. Young brother, you is rash with your mouth. And let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before your heart. You know, some brothers might take it offensive offensive if you do that with them. And they might rebuke your ass on sight. And then, you know, I looked at it and I was like, this is a young brother. And I I seen that you never done that before. You've never uh, been said nothing rash with your mouth on the common board. So I knew you didn't mean that to be malicious. You've been around, you're learning, you have read that scripture and you have studied that scripture before. So you know that scripture for, for you to speak on it like that. But you 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 came in a, a thought of matter when you heard something you didn't see. You said, I ain't talking about no woman. Come on, I, I know that I ain't talking about a no woman, brother. All right? But I'm going to break down what the breast mean, huh? okay? For your Yahweh is in heaven and thou upon the earth. Therefore, let thy words be fruit. Let your words be fruit, brother. Next time, ask a question. All right? This is 2nd Ezra's. No, this is Iraq. 11 and 7. Blame not before thou hast examined the truth. You blamed and you didn't examine the truth. You didn't get a full understanding of what was said. but And you uttered uh, a sacrifice of fools, young brother. Okay, understand first, then rebuke, all right? You didn't understand first, but you rebuke prematurely, all right? Now, let me show you what, how people spoke in the ancient world. This is from vocabulary.com, all right? And you got to understand when you read the Apocrypha and the Bible, they have ancient the ancient way of speaking, it was when English was first born. During the time of King James, all right? During those times, okay, the, the English language was fairly new, okay? So the way they spoke is different than the way we speak in these modern times, okay? Now, this is a... Uh, from vocabulary.com and it's going in the word bosom. All right. The bosom is the breast, a chest around or the chest area of the body. All right. Now it's about to give you a quick synopsis of the word and the, the history on the word bosom and breast. Okay. It is also poetically considered the place where our feelings reside. See, when they spoke of the breast and the bosom in the, in ancient time, well, not exactly ancient times. During the time of King James, when old English uh, ruled England, Europe, so on and so forth, and spread, all right, when they said bosom or breast, they would be talking about how you feel. They wouldn't be talking about a woman's titty, okay? Used as a verb or noun, bosom originates from the old English word bosom, bosom meaning breast, womb, surface, or uh, ship hold. It is commonly used as a polite reference to a woman's breast. All right, that's what it means. That's how you take it. That's what it means in these modern times, okay? All right, that's why you was like, that ain't talking about no woman, all right? But this is what, the next thing I'm about to read is what Ezra was talking about. Because our booze, bosom, chest contains our heart, it has also become known as the place where our feelings, intuitions, or secret thoughts are kept. And that's what Ezra was talking about when he say wisdom grown in my breast. All right? The heart, the breast contains the heart. Okay? The bosom contains the heart. And we know when we say the word heart, we're not talking about the muscle that pumps blood. We're talking about our mind, our consciousness. So Ezra, when he said wisdom grew in his breast, it, his, it, grew, it got in his spirit, in his mind, his cognitive function. And he said, then he started to utter understanding. That's why I said, when well, wisdom grow in your breast, okay? This is what is meant in the old English, all right? He say, 
It has also become known as the place where our feelings, intuition, and secret thoughts are kept. And that's what the Most High, when he drunk, when Ezra drunk, that that uh drink of the Holy Spirit, that fire, all right, his it went to his intuitions, his secret thoughts, all right, his feelings changed, and he started to utter uh wisdom and knowledge, all right. So that's why I said that it had nothing to do with a woman, brother. And you know, I know you've learned these breakdowns by now because I've seen you on the cover board. <laughs> at least a year, like when you go right here, this is a prime example. This is Revelation 14, uh, all right, and four. These are they which not, which were not defiled with women, all right? This is not talking about a literal woman, okay? But a, a, a younger brother or somebody that hasn't been taught this scripture would automatically think this is talking about a woman. This has nothing to do with a woman. Okay, for they are virgins. This is not talking about a man that hasn't had sex. All right. But a, a person that hasn't been taught would think that that's talking about a man that hasn't sex. These are they would follow Yahweh wherever he follow the lamb, wherever he go. Up. That's not talking about a literal lamb. I wasn't talking about literal breast, young lad. These were were doomed from among men being the first fruits unto Yahweh, unto the Lamb. All right? So when you when you hear a brother say certain things, man, just ask a question now for future references. And brothers like him, it's bigger than this brother because you got a lot of that going on with you young brothers on the comment board, man. Y'all got to learn to do things decently in order, man. Ask questions. Understand first. Examine the matter. Then ask a question. When you understand, when you examine the matter and it doesn't, uh, re reconcile with your spirit and you don't understand it, just ask a simple question. Don't make no bold statement. All right? That ain't talking about a woman. I know it ain't talking about a woman, brother. If you would have asked a question, I would have broke it down to you just like I just did. So, and, and it's for young brothers, man. When you come in on any brother's comment board, when you come in and you, and you got elder brothers that say things you don't understand, ask questions. Do things decently in order and don't make sacrifice of fools, man. All right, we're at the end. We here to um enlighten you, brothers, man. All right, and we we have to teach you, brothers, the right way. This is a reproving, it's not a rebuking, but uh everything got to be done decently in order. So with that, I'm gonna get infinite honors to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem and Karkadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to my fellow ladies, Yahweh Shah. Kwam Yasharala Baba Baba.